Thanks for joining us. The future of hundreds of Pennsylvania National Guard troops stationed in Johnstown is up in the air tonight. The United States Army says it plans to restructure its aviation defense. Maria Miller has been working this story all day, and she's here with the latest. Maria? Marty and Jen, this is a lot to take in. It's very complicated, and really, it's still very early. Basically, the Army has decided that it wants all of the National Guard's Apache attack helicopters across the nation transferred to active duty, something the Guard does not agree with. And while it's early, the Guard told me today, as of now, this is a for sure decision, and that's why it's been trying to fight back and make some negotiations. As part of its aviation restructuring initiative, the U.S. Army has decided to move all National Guard Apache helicopters to active duty. That includes the 24 Apache attack helicopters based out of the 1st 104th Air Reconnaissance Battalion in Johnstown, potentially affecting all 404 soldiers currently stationed there. The National Guard says as of October 1st, the entire battalion in Johnstown will be deactivated. But that doesn't necessarily mean they'll be restationed somewhere else. As of now, the Guard says what's going to happen is still very much up in the air. The Guard is fighting back, though, against the Army's decision and is hoping Congress can come up with a way to reverse it. But in the meantime, the Guard has been able to make some negotiations. It says the Army has agreed to let the Guard keep one Apache unit. That's eight helicopters and 113 soldiers. The Army will also give the Guard 10 Blackhawks that will need 111 soldiers apiece to operate, as well as a new maintenance battalion made up of 128 soldiers. It's going to allow the Guard to retain more soldiers than it previously thought. And while the Guard's not happy with the moves, it's something it says under the National Defense Authorization Act, it has to do, adding that the soldiers are the adjutant general's main priority and the Guard will continue to do what it can to make sure the impact is as minimal as possible. It says the negotiations it's made will help the Guard remain relevant, giving it the tools needed to function like any other active duty brigade and the ability to continue deploying on active missions. Again, very complicated, very much up in the air. This decision is also affecting Guard units in Arizona, Missouri, and South Carolina. As of now, the Guard says this will all start taking place in October. But while the battalion in Johnstown will be deactivated, that does not mean they'll necessarily be leaving. The Guard and Army still need to decide where everyone will be stationed and what jobs they'll be taking over. Reporting live, Maria Miller, 6 News. Meantime, Congressman Keith Rothfuss reacting to the news today, telling us he does not support the Army's decision. He says it's part of the Army's aviation re restructuring initiative put into place a few years ago, a plan that he and other congressional leaders are trying to study. He says there is a commission in place, but that commission has not yet had a chance to meet, and he doesn't feel the Army should be making big decisions like this until they do. Our concern is that once they start moving around these assets out of the National Guard, that's, that's really going to have a negative impact, negative impact uh, on the readiness of the Guard. And, and as you see the, the depth and quality that we've had with our Pennsylvania National Guard, uh, you know, really in, in looking at the Apaches and, and the wonderful work that they've been able to do. Rothfuss says he will be testifying next week before the House Armed Services Committee to attempt to reverse or even delay the Army's decision until the commission can do its work.